I am very sure you have seen someone who is loyal to a destructive person. You are not alone. Or have you ever wondered how a trauma bond starts? It starts as a connection between an abusive person and the individual they abuse. It typically occurs when the abused person begins to develop sympathy or affection for the abuser. This bond can develop over days, weeks, or months. Not everyone who experiences abuse develops a trauma bond. A trauma bond is a strong emotional attachment to an abusive, toxic, or harmful relationship, and it can have a deep impact on our mental and emotional well-being. First and foremost, it's vital to understand that healing takes time. There's no magic wand to make it disappear overnight, it's a process, and progress might be slow at first. But trust me, each day you spend working on yourself is one step closer to healing. Having explained that, we want to see into five ways to heal from a trauma bond. If you are new to our channel, welcome and to our returning subscribers welcome back. 1. Recognizing a trauma bond is the first step to healing from it. By understanding the dynamics of the bond, one can start to separate themselves from it and begin to heal. This may involve seeking support from friends, family, or a therapist who can provide guidance and help in breaking free from the cycle of trauma bonding. It's important to remember that healing takes time and self-compassion is key in this process. 2. Seeking support. It could be from friends family or even professionals like counselors or therapists who can listen objectively and provide guidance. Talking to someone who understands trauma bond can validate your experience, making you feel heard and understood. And they can also provide coping strategies or resources to help manage triggers and heal from the trauma bond. 3. Self-care and self-love. Treating yourself kindly will foster positive changes within yourself as well as in your relationships with others. Spend time doing things that you enjoy doing, hobbies, activities, anything that brings you joy will help release endorphins in your brain, making it easier for you to cope with your emotions. 4. Reflecting on the past. It can be a powerful tool for healing from trauma bonds. It allows individuals to gain insight into their experiences, understand how the trauma bond was formed, and recognize patterns in their relationships. By acknowledging and processing past events, one can begin to let go of negative emotions and start the healing process. Additionally, reflecting on the past with a therapist or trusted individual can provide support and guidance in navigating through complex emotions related to trauma bonds. Lastly, the fifth step is forgiveness. Forgiving yourself and others involved in the trauma bond is a crucial part of the healing process because it allows you to let go of resentment and bitterness towards those involved in your trauma bonding journey. Remember, going through trauma bond takes time. When dealing with trauma bonding issues, you don't have to walk alone. There is help, and there is hope for a more fulfilling, joy-filled life without fear. Remember that healing is not linear, there will be ups and down along the way. But with perseverance, it's possible to break free from a trauma bond and move towards a healthier future. If you found this video valuable, kindly like and share. Thanks so much for watching.